one of uh, the positives of feral was he could explain the winds so feral could explain winds there are majorly three uh, types of wind uh, primary winds secondary winds and tertiary winds also known as uh, planetary winds uh, global winds these uh, secondary winds are also called as uh, regional winds types of winds there are three major types of winds three uh, major uh, type of winds one is the uh, primary wind also known as planetary winds second is secondary winds also known as regional winds third is tertiary winds also known as local winds okay in a planetary winds there are of three kinds planetary winds is a term used for three types of winds we have the uh, trade winds we have uh, westerlies and we have polar easterlies we have polar easterlies trade winds westerlies and we have polar easterlies okay generally cyclones and anti cyclones are basically what are what is happening if you take into consideration planetary winds they are across the globe they are across the globe if you take into consideration secondary winds they are at a particular region okay let's say southwest monsoon winds northeast monsoon winds ek particular region pe bade se region if you take into consideration cyclone cyclone is basically a very low pressure system the genesis of the cyclone is from a very low pressure cell so cyclone ko tertiary winds kehte hain tertiary circulations kehte hain but cyclone ka impact bahut zyada hota hai the impact of the cyclone cyclone is in indian ocean okay small cyclone is developing in the indian ocean as the cyclone develops it moves Uh, it moves and it impact various regions and therefore in terms of impact you can consider them as the secondary winds but in terms of genesis they are considered as tertiary local circulations tertiary local circulation ke right because unka genesis is from a very small region a very localized low pressure theek hai now primary winds secondary wind and the tertiary winds so there are three types of winds so firstly uh, we are dealing with winds uh, we are dealing firstly with the uh, planetary winds the planetary uh, winds the planetary winds in planetary winds first we are dealing with the trade winds trade winds planetary winds trade winds uh, they are they blow from they blow from a subtropical high pressure belt that is a 30 degree north and south uh, towards equator there are two types there are two types of trade winds that is the northeast trade winds we have the southeast trade wind do you know that subtropical high pressure belt ko ek aur naam bolte hain they are also called as horse latitude so what is happening we are looking at this point this is equator this is your uh, subtropical high pressure belt we have subtropic high pressure belt we have northeast trades the northeast trades we have the southeast trades the northeast trade winds we have the southeast trade winds and i say that uh, this is subtropical high pressure so what is there if you look at the cell look at the cell we have sinking limb we have a sinking limb of hadley cell hadley cell ka you have a, a sinking limb you have a sinking limb theek hai so what is happening is at subtropical high pressure there is a sinking limb niche aa rahi this is upper troposphere this is the surface there is a sinking limb as there is a sinking limb what will happen will there be instability or stability for instability the way, the air has to rise the air has to rise but if there is a sinking limb if there is a sinking limb there will always be stability and there is if there is a stability the winds will be very slow very calm while the travelers they were traveling in their boats they used to carry horses with them but as the wind used to come in this latitude right the wind is very calm and therefore the ships cannot be sailed they cannot move very fast as they cannot move very fast what will they do they would want to offload some of the burden they used to throw what they used to throw their horses and therefore this is also called as horse latitude 
what are we dealing we are saying planetary winds in the planetary wind i am dealing first with the trade winds i said the trade winds they are blowing from subtropical high pressure belt towards equator there are two types of trade winds uh, we have northeast trades and we have the southeast trades and i said that this subtropical high pressure is known as horse latitude because the subtropical high pressure belt is known as horse latitude because due to the sinking due to uh, the sinking limb the air is very calm winds are very calm because of the sinking limb the winds are very calm and therefore in ancient time the horses were offloaded horses uh, were offloaded to uh, reduce the burden of a ship as the ship was becalmed as the ship was becalmed in this latitude ship used there was no movement in this uh, latitude therefore it is also called as the horse latitude subtropical high pressure belt is also known as the horse latitude so this is what is there in the uh, trade winds now a very important point here in the trade winds if you look at if you look at the uh, trade winds if this is have an attention here uh, this is your land this is ocean right uh, we have we have trade winds that are blowing from your subtropical belt to the equator they are blowing from subtropical belt towards the equator okay so this is your equator you have 30 degree latitude here we have 30 degree latitude here we have trade winds that are blowing the northeast trade winds and the southeast trade winds now if you look at this the winds are the winds are offshore that is they are blowing from land to sea offshore ka matlab land to sea the winds are offshore on the west side they are blowing from land to sea the winds are this is also ocean the winds are offshore on the west side whereas the winds are on shore that is from ocean to land i'll speak once again the winds are blowing from ocean to land on the east side the winds are blowing from land to ocean on the west side so that is the condition here west hai ye east hai where will they give more rainfall on the west or on the east so as they are blowing from ocean to land they will be better condition on the east side but there will be drier conditions on the west side land se aari, land se ocean ki taraf aari, they will have not much moisture they will not have much moisture as they are blowing from land to ocean and because the wind are blowing from land to ocean on the west side what will we see we will see that the major deserts they are there on the west side in the tropical belt what i'm saying is this is your this is the land the wind are blowing from land to ocean land to ocean land to ocean land to ocean and therefore there will be very uh, dry conditions here it will be very dry conditions okay and therefore we have major deserts on the subtropical belt on the uh, western side on the western side in the uh, tropical belt we have the deserts okay so we will write all of this uh, but before we write uh, have a look at this so we are de do dealing with winds in winds we are dealing with uh, planetary winds in planetary winds, we are dealing with the northeastern trade winds and the southeastern trade winds. You also look at this one. Okay, this one. Okay, these are blowing from ocean to land on the east side. They are blowing from land to ocean on the uh, west side. As they are blowing from land to ocean on the west side, there will be dry conditions here. There will be dry conditions here. And this is what is happening. Your trade winds, they are blowing from east to west. The northeastern winds, that the southeastern winds, as they are blowing from east to west. Okay, consider the east side. Consider that as the west side. The winds are on shore, on the east side. Uh, that is, they are blowing from ocean to land, and therefore they will bring moisture on the east side. As it blows from west, as it blows from continent to ocean, as it blows from continent to ocean, there will be dry conditions on the west side. So winds are offshore on the uh, western margin and there are uh, dry conditions okay so trade winds they blow from east to west 
they are more consistent they are planetary winds they are more consistent winds and they are offshore winds on the west side therefore they are dry whereas they are onshore on the east side and therefore they are bringing more moisture the trade winds trade winds trade winds are most uh, consistent they are most consistent of all the planetary winds of all the other uh, planetary winds of all the other planetary winds the uh, winds are next point uh, winds are off shore the uh, wind are offshore that is from uh, land to ocean on the west side on the uh, west side of continent and the, therefore leading to leading to uh, dry uh, conditions therefore leading to uh, dry conditions on the uh, west side in bracket right this is the location of this is the location of major uh, deserts this is the location of the major uh, deserts the uh, winds are on shore that is from ocean to land on the eastern side on the eastern side of the uh, continent on the eastern side of the continent and therefore it yields more moisture therefore it yields more moisture on the eastern side the eastern side and you can also draw this diagram equator 30 degree north 30 degree south you can show the direction of the winds on shore on east and we have offshore on the west okay on shore on the east and offshore on the uh, west as the winds this is let's say 30 degree latitude this is equator 30 degree latitude equator the winds are coming from 30 degree latitude towards equator 30 degree latitude towards equator as the winds are coming as the wind come from 30 degree latitude towards the equator, the wind, they don't merge into one another. The winds, they rise very smoothly. They rise very smoothly. So, the winds equator ki taraf aai, they don't merge into one another. They rise very smoothly. As they rise very smoothly, what will happen at the equator? There will be very, there will be very calm conditions. The winds are not there, right? There's just laminar flow. See, there are winds has two flow. One is the turbulent flow. One is the smooth upliftment laminar flow. So wind is coming. As they reach the equator, the wind there is goes very for very smooth laminar flow. In case the wind goes for very smooth laminar flow at the equator, will not have, will have very stable condition. And this stable conditions are called as doldrums. So this, if you look at this one, you will see a belt of a doldrum. In reality, exactly belt nahi hota. There is no continuous belt. There is no continuous belt. But here it is shown as belts. What is happening? What is a doldrum? Doldrum is the calm conditions at the equator. Why should there be calm condition at the equator? Because the winds, they are rising very smoothly. Imagine equator, very hot zone. The air should always be rising. Right? The air is always rising. As the air is rising, there should be instable conditions throughout the time. But that is not happening. What is happening is winds, trade winds, they are coming. As the trade winds are coming, they are going for smooth upliftment. As they are going for smooth upliftment, there is a belt of, there is a belt of calmness called as doldrums. Now here, the doldrum is being shown as a belt. But in reality, you will see that the doldrums, they are generally developed on the eastern side of the oceans firstly doldrums jab bante hai, they are there on the oceans not majorly on the land why firstly if you look at ocean versus land ocean is more smoother okay there would be less friction it is there is less friction the wind will not become turbulent the wind will go for smooth laminar upliftment therefore doldrums are formed on the oceans because the nature of ocean is plain the second part, the oceans where you will even see on the oceans, they are more on the eastern side of the ocean. They are more on the eastern side and not on the western side. I will let you know the reason for it in a couple of minutes. But abhi ke liye doldrum samjo, kaha banta hai samjo, that is important. So firstly, right, what are we writing? We are writing the trade winds. We said where are they onshore, what are, where are they offshore, uh, where do they lead to dry conditions, where they do lead to 
uh, your moisture based uh, condition uh, the smooth upliftment the smooth upliftment of a uh, trade winds the smooth upliftment of the uh, trade winds along equatorial belt along equatorial belt jahan pe smooth likha hai wahan pe in bracket you can write the uh, laminar flow the smooth upliftment of the trade winds along the equatorial belt Uh, the smooth upliftment of the trade wind along the equatorial belt uh, leads to calm conditions leads to calm condition along equator leads to calm conditions along equator known as a doldrum known as doldrum the doldrum belt the doldrum belt is more developed is more developed on oceans than on uh, land than on land in bracket you can write ocean surface is smooth ocean surface is smooth and therefore the ocean surface is smooth and therefore facilitates and therefore facilitates laminar flow and therefore facilitates laminar uh, flow ocean surface is smooth and therefore it facilitates laminar flow so doldrum is more developed on the oceans than on the land you can also write a uh, doldrum is developed doldrum is developed more on the eastern side of the ocean develop more on the eastern ocean waters eastern ocean waters as it is more uh, cold as it is more cold compared to the western ocean waters compared to the western tropical ocean waters compared to the western tropical ocean waters so eastern wala ocean is more cold western wala tropics mein in tropics in tropics the this is 0 degree this is 30 degree this is 60 degree this is 90 degree if you look at the ocean the ocean the eastern is more cold in the tropics but in the subpolar the western is more cold is bar ka mcq hai 2020 Two me same question same two statements. What is more cold in the ocean waters, the eastern side, western side, tropics me, and upper kaun sa hai? Polar sa polar me kaun sa water? No, it is not on the. We are looking in the context of oceans. We are looking in the context of ocean, not on the context of land. So eastern ocean waters is this side. <laughs>